DJ Pro 2 Power Review. It's time to dive into the depths of yet another barrel-aged beer from our friends at Founders Brewing Company out of Grand Rapids, Michigan, U.S. of Bay. Yay, yay! And what beer do we have from them today? We have the 2020-2019 installment of KBS Espresso. This is an Imperial Stout. It's limited serving. It clocks in at 12% ABV and 70 IBUs. Now, for adjuncts in this beer, they're using coffee and chocolate, same as it ever was with KBS. It has also been barrel aged for an entire year in a cave in bourbon barrels. But this time, instead of just brewing the beer with coffee, they also do what? Extract the lovely liquid from the barrels after a year and age it after that. They don't say how long on espresso beans. So you get that extra coffee punch and it's supposed to be awesomeness. So much like you have, I guess, um, uh, let's see, what is it, Goose Island Coffee, you know, their Bourbon County Coffee. Well, now we have KBS, but KBS coffee even though it had coffee before. Because nowadays, in barrel Asian Imperial Stout land, it's what? An arms race. Who has more flavor, more punch, and more awesomeness? So, you know what? Enough flap my gums. Time to pop the top on this bad boy. Getting the snapped off and tell you what's up with KBS Espresso. Hell yes. Boom. Gigantic hiss off the top. Tons of cannon smoke and, of course, obsessively collectible Founder's Crown. So... Put that to the side. Let's get it in the glass. Hell yes. Oh, cannon smoke still running out. Look at those black waters just trickling into the glass. You know. You know I'm loving that. Hell yes. So, of course, as always, I've done all my good chores today. We've gone to kids' sports. We've installed locks, new locks, and electronic locks, uh, changed faucets, all kinds of fun honeydew stuff. Now it's time for beer. So let's talk about the appearance. It's black, black as night, black as pitch. No light is passing through this brew. We have a solid one and three quarters finger head of super duper tightly packed bubbles. Man, this puck is compact, not fading very fast. But when you swirl this chocolatey colored head, you get tons of alcohol lakes just clinging down the inside of that glass. Look at that beautiful black water. Mm -mm -mm. It's pretty. But you know what? Not that I can't smell it now. It's got to smell awesome, too. So let's dive in for that aroma. Woo, big, big coffee. Bigger than regular KBS. I guess that's their point. That's why they age it on the extra espresso beans. Now, regular KBS, when you drink that, if you've drank it before, I've been drinking it for instance, since I think about 2010, 2009, somewhere in that neck of the woods. So I've been drinking that beer for nine or ten, ten years and reviewing it for eight or nine years, somewhere around that neck of the woods. But anyway... That beer's, this beer's aroma will range in how intense the coffee is. This is real intense coffee right off the bat. I would say, from what my beer memory tells me, larger than that, a regular KBS. I'm getting the chocolate in there, but the coffee is still way bigger. If I didn't know the chocolate was in there, I would smell, say it's like a chocolatey aroma like you get from like cold brew Starbucks, like cold brew coffee. That's more the aroma, that intense chocolatey dark roast coffee. After that, a hit of vanilla, bourbon, some char notes, fudgy chocolate, more coffee, earthy undertone, more char notes as the head recedes. I can't tell if the char is roast or that from the barrel. It kind of may be competing, but it is like charcoal-y sort of char, so that may be from the barrel. More spirit of bourbon. It smells delicious. A bit of leather and licorice in an undertone and some tobacco. Let's go. Cheers! Coffee's the dominant smell, though. Mmm. Hell yes. Not a hint of alcohol in the aroma. Very, very well hidden. A little bit of warming in the chest. Very well hidden in the taste, but right up front, bang. Coffee and more coffee. Middle of the palate, dark baker's chocolate. In the back end, that barrel char that was in the aromas coming through as deep dark roastedness i don't know if that's from the coffee or from the malt bill it could be both those flavors are present in regular kbs no matter what level of coffee is showing up in whatever vintage it is mm. a little bit of vanilla super super duper hidden because this beer is all about coffee at time recording this beer is well under a month old it's actually only two weeks old so this coffee is still fresh and intense Super smooth. You get a decent, like, bourbon-y taste at the sides of the tongue. Less bourbon forward than regular KBS. This is more coffee forward. It's supposed to be. It's called espresso KB KBS. This is for those, I, I'm assuming, who are, like, pining for more coffee flavor. 
I'm saying all oh, why isn't your coffee flavor bigger? This definitely accomplishes that. This is definitely a barrel aged coffee stout where I'd say KBS is a barrel aged coffee stout, but less emphasis on the coffee than this is up in your face. More like, um, like uh, KBS or I mean, Bourbon County B BCBS or well, I mean, it's too many letters. Bourbon County coffee is up in your face in your grill or maybe even um, um, like some other variants you've had out there. Mm, super tasty. Yum. So let's grade it. Well hidden alcohol, well defined flavors, mm, with a kind of coffee tobacco y sort of aftertaste in the back end with a touch of bourbon. Bourbon is, is way more hidden. And as you drink, the chocolate is more hidden. So that's my assessment. Let's grade it. At time of recording, Beer Advocates giving this 4.41 out of 5. So that's probably definitely the A range for those guys, like 95, 96, something like that. And Untapped is giving this 4.37 out of 5. That's definitely, you know, high A, A range going into A+. Plus, probably like a 98 A+. Plus for those guys, being that 4.5 would be definite A+. Plus for them, let me take one more taste. If you want really big coffee, this is your beer. If you're not a coffee fan right now, this is reminding me of actually Barrel Aid Speed Waste Out. How it's got that big coffee up in your face but that beer actually has a little more sweetness which this beer is lacking that amps up the bourbon flavor and props it up so what i'm i'm missing in this the the texture's fine the mouthfeel kbs is always a thinner beer than some um so i'm not off by that as that hasn't changed in this beer the mouthfeel is about the same the alcohol is just as well hidden but it's really coffee dominant and fresh like this is coming off as a little bit one note it may sell her better over time because of that big packed in coffee there but i'm looking for a touch more sweetness just to prop up the bourbon flavor that's kind of missing right now so i'm going to go um i'm going to go 96 97 somewhere in that range i have to drink a little more to say solid one or two but a solid a range virgin on a plus but it's big up in your grill coffee if that's not your thing this might not be your beer so have you had founders brewing company out of grand rapids kbs espresso if you have let me know what you know because i like the quick pro quo <laughs> and the back and forth i also like it when you do me a great big favor and think locally drink locally and support the craft beer movement and it's exceedingly cool when you do me another favor and you rate comment subscribe especially if this is your first time with us and if you can get around to it help me push those google metrics up into the stratosphere by doing what ah, smashing that like button because that along with one bottle of oh, founders brewing company's kbs espresso is all i'm gonna need to put my big ass beer drinking happy face on so the next dj brew tube i got nothing but a bunch of kbs espresso drinking love for you and you know what's coming for you right now hell yes that's right a big ass peace out